There's this thing called build space when they started the program where you work on nights and weekends on your ideas. Um, take any idea you're excited about. They put on lectures and stuff to help you grow your idea, I guess. So this is kind of what they, what's your one liner? I just put a new way to edit videos with the help of LLMs. Why do you want to work on this? And I said, I'm having trouble finding a video editor to match my taste. I think AI can help a lot. Apparently over 60,000 people are working on their ideas. Um, they do live stream lectures. Lecture two is about building a toy. So something small that kind of showcases the idea, kind of like an MVP, but like even smaller maybe. You need to build a toy version of your idea and show us your progress. It could be if you're making music, a 30 second version of the song. If you're building an app, maybe just a wireframe. So it's really cool. And one of the biggest kind of value points of the idea I have is, is the actual user interface. So we might try to tackle that this stream. I'll give a bit of a rundown of how everything is supposed to work. Maybe I'll do this on a razor. So a razor has a really nice tool to kind of make diagrams and stuff and i think they also have ai creation create a new file and i think we can create a diagram with ai here ai diagram paste in a schema so you can paste in code or a schema infrastructure definition or we can just explain it in play, plain language so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to just explain it we want kind of like a flow chart i guess a workflow for editing videos with the help of large language models and the first um a video gets transcribed and llm parses the transcript and extracts all topics and categories mentioned and a three user can add edit the topics or um the llm parses the transcript chunk by chunk determining which chunk belongs to which topic five we are left with a categorized transcript user does final editing moving to automatically extract clips from the chunk start and points all right let's see what uh eraser comes up with so they've created this <laughs> this is kind of cool. So start, transcribe video, generate JSON, and the LLM parses a transcript, extracts topics, user interaction, file editing, clean up. Okay. The cool step for this toy task is the actual user interface at step five and six. These are the steps that um, I want to work on this stream making a user interface where we can visualize the different categories in the in the transcript and easily add, remove, and move. I hope there's an AI that can help me do that. We're going to have a look for that. Now, which AI is good at generating user interface from text? Obviously, we have OpenUI. That one's pretty good. We can try this. Uh, we also have V0. We also have OpenV0. We also have GPT Call. So let's try and make a really good prompt. An interface where a user sees text tr transcript from a long video. The text is categorized in different topics, can be highlight, text highlights, uh, and colors. The user can edit the categories. Yeah. I don't know. Let's try to keep it. I'm going to start with it vague and then eventually we can narrow it down. Um, go. How far? I think open UI is pretty fast. Let's see how, how this goes. It looks really bad. Let's try it. Can we try again? From start. GPT call. Let's go website monster. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. We have to wait. Wow, this is not a website monster is very similar. Uh, it's more complete as well. Oh, we get to choose a theme with V0. Pastel. Okay. Oh, this is nice. V0. Oh, this is really nice. Gives us three options here. This is B. Oh, this is nice too. This is nice too. I like B, but I like the colors in A. All right, let's continue with B. And we'll be like, color the transcript sections the same as the... Categories, same as its category. C 
color. Nice. I really like this. This is really... Oh, wow. It's interactable. That is really cool. Oh, shit. You know what would also be a cool interface? That would be so cool. Like a Tinder swipe. It goes one by one. Give an option to go to an alternate UI view where transcript chunks are are uh, manually categorized one by one similar to a tinder sw swipe ui that would be so cool but we have the keys so it's like this is so cool guys i love this way of um, making user interfaces shout out to versal and v0 this is really nice okay sick this is actually this is actually what i wanted do look at that and you can click what oh this is so cool add a keyboard shortcut hotkey for each category dude that's gonna be such a cool user interface i hope it shows the the key as well like maybe it's just one two three four that could work just numbers that could really work that would be really good how many oh yes dude it looks like we have 150 different feedbacks we can give this is really cool all right let's try integrate this now so they have mpx v0 add create new next js app is the first thing we need to do just the boilerplate we can do it with npx or yarn i use yarn make the next app into its own um folder what are we going to call it oh that's a good question we need a cool name all right we're going to ask ChatGPT and claude to fight it out to make a cool name come up with 20 names for an ai video editor app okay Swipe edit transcript trim. Trans clipper. Trans clipper and trans clipper is kind of funny. And because um, it kind of has a double meaning. Rapid reel. Ooh, rapid reel. I like rapid reel. Rapid reel. Rapid reel. Would you like to use TypeScript? Don't hate me, but no. Would you like to use ESLint? Yes. Would you like to use Tailwind? That's a great question. Uh, I think V0 uses Tailwind. And after that... CSS. Here, oh, what? Tail Tailwind config. Yes. We are using Tailwind. All right. Now we have our boilerplate Next.js app. Almost. Okay, we've created it. Let's open that. Folder, rack and reel, let's go. Okay, this is a boilerplate Next.js project. Now, we can supposedly easily integrate our V0 um, component by just copying this um, command that they give us. npx v0 add and then the hash. Ow. Let's see what happens. You need to install the v0 package. Well, all right, we need to initialize v0 at the latest in our root directory, supposedly, to create a components.json file, which I suppose holds a configuration for each component that we've introduced with v0. What should we call this component? Categorize. Err. Well, I've never, I've never done this before, but really excited to see how it works. Done. Okay. So we have the component now. It's put it in components categorizer.js. So cool. Okay. Let's just try run this with yarn dev. Supposedly we're hosting this. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. It's just the basic Next.js template. Now we want to edit page, page.js. Okay. Instead of all this, we want to see if that makes it just say home now. Yes, it does. Um, let's say import the package. Import the component categorizer. Do it, cursor, please. Okay, I think that should work. Let's see. Hey, works. Um, um, and after awesome. that, so um, just like that, guys, we've implemented the UI we've created with um, V0 into our app. And now we can go like this and just categorize all our transcript, but obviously this is just hard-coded transcript. Um, but just, yeah, still the UI is amazing. I love it. Um, I'd love to get Aether to develop light mode, dark mode switch here. Um, I don't know how possible that is. 
Let's install because Aether did an upgrade. We're gonna run Aether with Sonnet. And we're going to add the files we need. It's actually it's pretty much these ones. So um we're gonna add categorizer, we're gonna add tailwind, we're gonna add layout, we're gonna add global CSS. That's it. Okay, sweet. Add uh toggle switch so we can switch between light and dark mode it's fine okay it's using diff format so it's finding specific code to search and replace so you can see the search and replace kind of keywords and it's working really fast and really well uh, it's creating a new file toggle jsx and supposedly that's it wow see this is what i mean about Ader. it's a lot faster to do these multi-file edits compared to cursor so when it comes to big edits i like to use Ader. let's see if this is still running and we can see we actually have a dark mode switch that works perfectly man i love Ader so much wow that is so nice guys fuck yeah Ader! and we even got a new a little icon here so good man shout out to Ader. Uh, i love it so much this is great we've we've made this whole app and i haven't even written a single line of code manually oh, so good man coding is so much easier now with ai oh, i love it i love it this is the main focus of this channel too at the moment is coding with AI and how good it is. It's amazing. It's so good. So essentially what we're going to, what the UI is going to be like is either like this, you can categorize um, each kind of line into different categories and um, it then, then we'll have like a compile button down the bottom or something and it, it'll turn all of the different it'll combine the different categories so for instance if we have the reviewing ai tool and for each category it'll create a new clip so for reviewing ai tool it will start it will just compile all the green ones so it'll be like hello welcome to our discussion on ai tools we've been testing i'm really excited to share my thoughts and feedback and then it'll skip all this and be like what do you think about the user interface oh and i forgot grab a snack if you need one right so um, and then the blue will be its own clip. And this is kind of like the, the interface I've envisioned for editing future, uh, editing videos in the future for me. Um, and then the other interface, this is probably the one that I'm most excited about is this kind of Tinder swipe interface. So it's just like, um, just like this, but instead of manually going through and doing this, you get, you can kind of go through manually and do it really fast with these hotkeys. You can see it's like one, two, three for these categories. Uh, we can be like one, two, three, and keep going one by one. And um, we've got an error here at the end. That's fine. We can debug later. But then, yeah, we can categorize like that, kind of like a really fast swipe interface, uh, Tinder interface, even though we're not swiping at all. So this is it. Um, yeah, I also added like the next lines and I removed the other features. So pretty much what it's doing now, it's going through line by line in a transcript from one of my videos. And we have these hotkeys here of different categories, like using cursor. So if I click that or press four, we can quick, quickly, as you see, like um, categorize this whole chunk as category four using cursor. And then we go through pretty much the whole transcript, categorizing different um, lines to different things. See, I might be talking to chat all here. So we press talking to chat and it makes these all blue. And um, yeah, and then at the end, when you get to the end, you can press like, I haven't done this part yet, but you will be able to press like compile and it takes all the sections, stitches them all together and you have like separate videos for every topic that you've discussed. You can also manage categories, add new categories and edit categories, edit the shortcut. This like all this functionality I made with AI and obviously like the, what you just saw, the light dark mode um, that was done with Ader as well. Like, yeah, pretty much everything was done with Ader. Um, the whole back end, yeah, I've made it save the cloud back end. Um, it's just so impressive. And that was all within like two days. Actually, I don't think I gave the conclusion. My conclusion was that it was actually not as fun as I wanted. Like, look, imagine like I'm reading line by line. Okay. And after that, we've only done one. I actually also added the progress indicator. After all that, we've only done 1%. And um, you have to be really fast to get through this whole thing. And obviously no one's reading this fast. So unfortunately it's just a bit slow, slower than I thought. And my current method, which just using Adobe Premiere is a faster. So I've kind of ditched that 